Hello, Luke. Hi, Alan. Made any quickie trips to New York lately? Actually, for the last couple of weeks, I've spent most of my time either at home or here in the hospital. Uh, how's Emily? Um, she's going through a bit of a rough patch, but at least we're communicating, you know, on the subject, me and Monica. We uh, tread a fine line between reassuring her and smothering her. She's actually very fortunate to have Lucky as a friend, and Foster, of course. Is everything okay? Yeah, you can relax. We're just talking about Lucky's friend, Emily. How are you? Good. You here to see me? Actually, I came to see Stone, but Robin said he was asleep, so I thought I'd find you and say hello. What is the overview on the kid? Well, he's getting the sensation back on his right side. He actually will be out of here in about 24 hours. And then what? We don't know. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, see you later. Hold that elevator. I've been thinking about you. Same here. But it would have been lunacy to try to see each other. Absolutely. How are things with Monica? Well, we've reached kind of an impasse. Um, but at least we're communicating on the subject of Emily. What about you and Tony? He's a little manic on one hand and uh, a little emotionally detached on the other. And sometimes he's a little of both at the same time. And... You don't want to know what it's like. Be gratefully civil. I'd settle for that in my house. Oh, you know, sometimes I wish we could just have a big fight and get it over with. I mean, then at least I would know what he was thinking. It's like he's treating this whole thing like it's a puzzle, you know, and he takes it around and he looks at it from all the angles and he sees how the pieces fit together and... I don't know whether he's amused or furious. And then when I think that I'm able to predict what he's going to do, he goes ahead and he proves me wrong. It's, it's very unsettling. Well, I'd settle for unsettling. I've missed you. Me too. Don't let me stop you, please. I assure you that I will not bite. Too exhausted. I guess it's been one of those days. Uh, didn't you have a meeting of the wellness center today? Sure did. How'd it go? Not bad. It's taking a little longer than I would expect, but we're coming up with some pretty good ideas. Oh, good. You're not really interested in this. I am very interested. Okay. Well, we're looking into setting up a joint support group with the outreach program uh, with people living with AIDS. That's a wonderful idea. I'm sure that Stone can get a lot of good out of that as soon as he gets over this latest setback. I'm sure he could. Hey, will you look at this? We're actually having a conversation and not hurting each other. Well, it's early. Well, I'm going to plunge right in here. I am so very sorry for what almost happened with Bob. I... I took a bad situation and I pushed it to the brink of disaster. And the last thing that I want to do is shove it over the edge. I know I made a huge mistake with Bobby. But the last thing that I want to do is compound that mistake by ignoring it and allowing it to poison our marriage. Well, that is certainly a possibility. Then let's not allow it to fester. Alan, do you think there's anything that you could say, anything that you could do to make this all right again? Listen, I am not that naive. Nothing I am going to say or do is going to make this all right. What I am simply saying to you is 
Is it possible that we can just learn from this hurtful mistake and move on? I'm not saying for you to forget it. I'm just simply suggesting to move beyond it. I'm not sure you want me to hang on to what I have learned. I have seen a side of you, Alan, I think I'd rather forget. Okay. But I'm going to ask you the same question I've been asking you for the last year. What can I do to help? Allow me a little space. <laughs> what a big surprise there. You know, Monica, I have seen a side of you over the last year that is not exactly heartwarming. And you also love rubbing my nose in it. Good evening, all. How was the opera? Wonderful. I slept like a baby. Oh, he's <laughs> fibbing. He loves Puccini. Oh, it was Puccini night, huh? Now, go ahead. I'm rather partial to Madame Butterfly myself. I know, dear. I can hear you humming it in the garden. Well, looks like we're not the only ones up past our bedtime. Hello, young lady. What are you doing up? I couldn't get to sleep. What's wrong, Emily? I don't like sleeping. Well, why not? Because of my dreams. Oh, my darling, come here. Are you having bad dreams? I can't help it. I know you can't. But I have a certain cure for insomnia. My dear. She is much too young for whiskey and too old for warm milk, huh? Oh, what I have in mind is much more pleasant. Um, listen, dear, give me a moment to change my clothes, then we'll sit down together and work on your mother's quilt. Really? Would you like that? It's oh. very soothing. Oh, yes, I'd love to, Mrs. Quartermain. Emily, would you do me a great big favor? Would you please call me grandmother? Well... Ned and A.J. and Jason do, so I really must insist. Uh, Edward, I'm going back to my room, dear. All right. See you later, dear. Okay. Emily, I think it's, it's wonderful that uh, Lila can help you tonight. There's something I'd like you to think about. Okay. All I've ever wanted to do is to help you, too. And that doesn't mean that you have to accept it. But I'd like you to please let me, let me make the effort and don't hold it against me. We can try. Thank you. That truly was a heartfelt plea. Unfortunately, I know exactly how you feel. Your wife is a remarkable woman, in case you didn't know. <laughs> I'm constantly reminded. Where's Alan? He decided to head upstairs before things turned ugly again. They do that a lot lately. Uh-oh. What's wrong? I want to go see Carla. She's gone. The house is all boarded up. She's jumped bail. Why on earth would you want to see her? Because I wanted to tell her what I think of her. Well, I hope that's all. Well, I say, I say, good riddance. Mom, if this doesn't prove this was a setup, I don't know what does. Well, because she jumped bail? Because she can't afford to just bolt like this on her own. That costs money, Mom. And I guarantee she is long gone under another name. And that means that somebody else besides the Foundation bankrolled this little setup. Oh, set up. Met up. Uh, you still walked right into it, Damn, you? No, Grandfather, how did I know that I could count on your support? Oh, God. Are you going to be okay? Sure. That which doesn't kill you builds character, right? That is what they say. Mom, you look beat. Why don't you go upstairs? <laughs> 